Hi, welcome to Unix Surplus. Today we're going to be looking at the Sun X4100 1U server. This is a standard x86 PC server that will run Solaris, Windows, Red Hat Linux. It's certified to run Red Hat. We can take a look at the BIOS settings here. We have it booted up already. See, it's a standard server BIOS with remote management, uh, complete regular chipset setup. Everything you'd expect. Uh, let's take a look at the CPU, since we have it here. This has got the AMD Optron Quad-Core CPU. This is the M2, which supports Quad-Core. Uh, running at 2.3 GHz with 2 megs of level 2 cache. It's got a processor-to-processor -processor interconnect speed of 1.6 GHz. This is actually a little bit faster than Intel. So let's power off the machine. You can hear that the machine, this is low power mode right now with the fans and low spin. You can hear that it gets quieter. Let's open up the machine with a top cover. Everything's hot swap inside the machine. You can see here that it has hot swap fan trays with fans that pop out real easy for hot swap. Little hot swap drive modules. Here that it has two of the low power AMD Optron processors. These use an normal about 50 watts. Everything nowadays in servers is about the wattage that it takes. These are very low wattage CPUs. You can see that they're still cool to the touch that I can touch them. This was the heat sink from the first generation Opteron CPU. You can see the difference in the amount of copper that it takes. These are much lower power CPUs. It uses DDR2 memory. This is registered ECC DDR2 memory. This is again lower power than any of the fully buffered DIMMs used by the comparable Intel servers. The FB DIMMs are higher wattage, they're hot to the touch, they have to have heat sinks on. They run a little bit faster, uh, Intel a little bit of a performance edge. Okay, let's also has a four port hardware SAS RAID controller on there with LSI, which is very easy to use drivers. See that it has a reset switch on board. It's got the Sun Lights Out Management card, which we'll talk a little bit more on later. It's got two PCIe cards. This is using the smaller PCIe bus, they fit inside here room for a full dog. If you want to run Asterix or any of the telecoms cards, it's a great machine to run that. It doesn't work with any of the PCI-X cards. Anything PCI-X doesn't have support for those right now. You can see how they don't fit. You have to use PCIe, PCI Express. So let's take a look at the front of the machine. It's got four hard drive swap trays. Each of these is two and a half inch hard drive SAS drives. Even these are blank fillers right here. Um, the two and a half inch hard drive uses a lot less power than anything three and a half inch. This is a 10K RPM SAS, so it still gives the performances because it's a smaller platter rotating because the performance of a 15,000 RPM drive at only 10K. This drive uses only about five to 10 watts nominal. They come with 146 gig hard drives in the front. You have the power switch, you have remote ID as well. We'll look at the back machine now. It has two hot swap AC power supplies. Each power supply is 550 watts, 110, 220 volt. Um, has standard PC connectors, hot swappable. You can run the machine on one power supply. You don't need to have two running. It actually saves power to run on one power supply. Even though these are 500 watts, the machine normally uses about 100 watts nominal power. It has standard remote management features. You can have USB, keyboard uh, right over here, uh, standard VGA video, serial management, and Ethernet management. This all configures to the Sun Lights Out management card, which we'll talk about a little bit later. It's got quad gigabit Ethernet, so you've got plenty of bandwidth coming in and out. You've got your two PCIe cards if you want to do 10 gig Ethernet. Sun RSC Lights Out Management LOM. It's basically a computer inside your computer. It's got a network interface on it that allow you to do firmware updates from everything to the PCI cards to the disk drives. It supports SSH, it supports serial console management, it supports uh, web management, it supports a Java console to do Java firmware updates. It can push any firmware from here to any of the other devices including the system board. This lights out management is what's made Sun so famous one of our best customers sits, sit, loves Sun because he can sit all the way in Australia and manage his server completely with all the firmware he needs. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the X4100 server. You can order this on unixsurplus.com. Thank you.